and welcome back to the mall farm today as you can see there's been a bit of commotion here on the main road just coming in towards the entrance to johnny's farm here as you may know connor is the culprit again and the john deere 6150r and the contractors are just starting to trust him again and yeah he, and he's coped another he coped the ferry tanker before and he's coped this bales here there with a load of silage bales on it and yeah they, they weren't the contractors bales either and some of them's damaged so yeah Terrible for publicity for the contractors as well. So yeah, Connor's definitely going to be getting the sack here. He's just sitting on the steps of the tractor, not knowing what to do. Here we've got the owner of O'Donovan Agri Contractors, contractors that Connor works for, just here wondering, doesn't know what to do, just holding his hand out to stop traffic. We've got Johnny, the local dairy farmer, out to lend a hand, and a few and a few of the other contractors' workers. Here we've also got Johnny's father, who's not very happy at all. As the bales nearly hit the Ford 7600 as he just pulled out before he pulled in. And yeah, he he, he pulled the Ford 7600 forward but the bales were a lot closer before he did. Almost wrecked the wrapper. And we've got Edward here also. So yeah, none of them's very happy with Connor also as he could have done a lot of damage. So yeah, these two lads and their hyper cars aren't very happy at all as they're meant to be heading to a car show. But now they can't get through. We've got a lad here in his McLaren with his gall wing doors. We've got a lad here in his BMW. And yeah, two of the contractors' workers just came down the road here. One on the JCB TM420S and one on the JCB 419S. This was heading to Buck Creek Grass with the rest of the crew anyway, so yeah, it was just coming down the road. But yeah, the 420S has got the pallet forks on, but yeah, they'll have to get the soft hands to lift the bales because they don't want to spike them to put a hole in them. Coming on down the road, we've got Edward's Gator just sitting. And we've got the 7600 sitting, as both of them's just up there, looking at what's happened. Here, here we've got Edward's son, of Johnny's trail, John Deere Forage Harvester. And he's just heading to a vintage silage day, so he is. His father, Edward, as I said, is, was meant to be following, following him in the gator after he fed the sheep, but he might be following him so quick now, as he might have to lend a hand, getting the road cleared. Here we've got the contractor's Volvo FH 16750. Of the Notre Dame low loader with a new Keenan double axle feeder. So, yeah, he's just taking it from the where they make the diet feeders and they're taking them to the dealership. So, yeah, just one diet feeder on here and it's just caught Johnny's son eye in the John Deere 7810. So, yeah, because they are looking at upgrading the diet feeder because the single axle they have to fill it up twice to feed all the cows. So, yeah, the double axle will be a good help to them. Yeah, this is the kind of work that the contractors were hoping to get in once they got the low loader. As it's it would help them if it's a rainy day and they don't have any silage or slurry to go to in the winter. Here we've got one of Doherty Agri contractors worker and he's got Johnny's two and a half thousand gallon NC slurry tanker in the back. But yeah, as you'll see in this week's episode, Johnny hires out a few machines he's been doing it for a long time. It helps him with cash flow and yeah, he just hires out if somebody comes looking, he doesn't be advertising or anything, but yeah. The Hardy Agri contractors have only got one tanker and it's only a 1600 gallon abbey. So yeah, they're hoping to upgrade it soon, but yeah, they're just getting a land of Johnny's for now. And here, sitting in the marked yard, we've got a John Deere 7830, which is for sale. They're, they're just about to put a sign out in front. But yeah, it's a farmer that bought it off. We've done Agri contractors a good few years ago and he's going to sell it on here. He's a tillage farmer and he keeps a few beef cows and he's very well in with the owners of the marks. So yeah, they're going to let him leave it here for the next couple of weeks until he can try and get it sold he's also got it up on done deal so yeah he's looking at getting something a bit newer to a place such as maybe an m series or an r series but he's also been looking at a t7 225 new holland here we've got johnny's son in the john deere 78 times the john deere 990 baler just heading through to go bail some silage bales it's only a couple of acres again but yeah it's a few acres that was meant to be for grazing for the calves but it's just got ahead of them so yeah they're going to take it for silage bales and bale it all themselves as, as they've got the wrapper also. Here we've got a Dolphin Agri contractors heading through to go with some silage. Here we've got a, a worker in the John Deere 6210R with the cane half pipe trailer. Here we've got a worker in a John Deere 6210R with the cane half pipe trailer again. And here we've got the John Deere 6920S which hasn't been out drawing silage in about a year and a half. So they've got her very well fixed up now so they have... She had a good few problems wrong with her, but they got her into a workshop and they kept working at her over a week or two weeks. So yeah, you would have seen her out in the tether, but yeah, she's well fit for the road work now and they need her as they're flat out. 
They've even had to hire in this young lad in the Massey Fairs in 67 when he had that. He's getting the work, a lot of work recently, as you can see, because a lot of farmers around here, they just need them contractors, they just need that extra tractor, so yeah. They've got him on their Keen Classic trailer, so yeah, he's out giving them a hand today. Here we've got the contractors 195M on their fellow rake, heading through to rake it up. Here we've got the contractors. John Deere 8600A harvester. So yeah, she's just heading through. So yeah, the rake man didn't get away, so they had a bit of a problem with the rake again. So yeah, that's why the contractor's are way ahead of the rake. So they have to give the rake 10 or 15 minutes to get ahead of them. Here we've got the Landini, one of the contractor's workers out here again. Just with the coon tether on. So yeah, the Landini, she's a nice fit for the coon tether, so she is. And they're really grateful to have the Landini out in demo this week. Because if they didn't have her out in demo, they'd have to take one of the tractors off the draw. And they'd have to, they'd have to hire on another tractor, which would, which would be very costly and they wouldn't have much profit margins in so yeah she's on the big tenor as there's a lot of hay down at the minute as there's great weather the big coon tenor there's no time at all getting through the fields here we've got the lad starting contracting as i said and he's in his john deere 7 9 30 and he's got a bit of a european style welger grain trailer on behind so yeah he, he's working to a farmer who's cutting very early this year so yeah he's gonna go give him a hand bringing in the grain here we've got the Massey Ferguson. It's just sitting here on the Keenan feeder. So yeah, they're just after feeding the cows so there. So yeah, the cows are inside all year round now. It's sort of it's not great to see, but yeah, they don't have the land to have them grazing. They've got a lot of land about 10, 15 kilometres away from the farm, but they don't have much around the farm. So yeah, they were gonna go into zero grazing, but I think they're just gonna feed the silage all year round and cut a lot of silage and maize. They're gonna cut a lot of maize this year. Here we've got Johnny's wife. Just about to get into the T6. Just about to go out and spread some fertilizer on the third cut ground. Trying to get it grown again for third cut. They're going to do third cut bales on the farm. Here going down the road we've got one of the contractors worker. Workers. They've just picked up this coon mower on demo. So yeah and they've just borrowed Johnny's 10 foot John Deere mower. So yeah they're going to go knock some hay ground. So yeah a lot of hay going down this week. The reason why they've went with with another two more set up as, as well as the big M is just to get a lot mowed down. The big M would mow it all down itself, but it's just that ground, like, some of 30 kilometres away from the other field, so yeah, it'll take them a long time to get from A to B, so yeah. Here, look at the big M450. It's going to stick to the silage jobs where it's gripping, so yeah, and then the fence 724 is going to take the all the hay jobs and the silage jobs that aren't being gripped. Here, look at the contractors, John Deere 6250R. With the front weight block just putting on the new Holland big baler ready to go at hay tomorrow so yeah martin was just loading us up whenever i had to hop on the jcb tm 420s to get down to connor so yeah 6250 hours a lovely setup for the new Holland big baler here we've got the contractors and they've hired in this jcb which they did out in demo they really liked her but they just can't afford her at the minute but yeah they've got a it's the same farmer that the other young contractors going out to help so yeah, they're going out to help him draw grain as he's got only got one trailer and it's a bit of a long draw because he has all his grain on out farm. So yeah, they're going out to help him in the JCB. She's really quick on the road. So yeah, it'll take them no time to get from A to B. Here we've got Ryan in the class Lexian. Just taking her out of the shed for the first time in a long time. So yeah, she's very dirty. She needs a power washing. She didn't get power washing whenever she got put under the shed. I don't know why. They were a bit lazy at the time. So yeah. They're just pulling her out of the shed for the first time. The JCB digger still parked up. Works quietened up, quietened up in the last lot of months, but yeah, it'll get busier towards the winter. They don't really go looking for the work in the summer unless somebody comes to them, but they do sort of be advertising in the winter as they don't have anything else to be at. The con one of the contractors, four bay sheds, their field tankers parked up. They've got their shop propelled sprayer, which is all fixed now. And they've got their tipping trailer for the lorry and their header trailer for the class. And header, which will be coming out very soon. Just they want to get the class into the workshop and get working at it, as it needs a decent bit of work done. In the shed, we've got their three field tankers, roadside tankers. Sorry, we've got their Amazon seed drill. We've got their Bergman dung spreader. We've got their harrows. We've got their log trailer, and we've got their Abbey slurry tanker, which was out earlier this morning on the John Deere 6250R. And we've got their grass seed drill. Hope that you enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button. Videos every midweek, once or twice, and a video every Sunday. 
So yeah, road to 500 subs, guys. Let's see if you, let's see if we can hit 500 subs this month. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Looks like Connor's getting the sack. Good luck.